While inaugurating the 16-member Assets Verification Committee at the ESCO Chamber in Government House, Benin City, Governor Mondo Pueblo says, based on the report he received from the Transition Committee prior to the handing over on November 12, 2024, he found it necessary to set up the Assets Verification Committee to establish the true status of all the assets of the states. Governor Okbeolu urged the committee members to do thorough checks and come up with an updated record of Edo State assets. I want to also assure you that this SSI is not intended to withhold anybody, but to strengthen the fight against corruption, which is part of my mandate as a governor, to ensure accountability and transparency in government. NS Afolabi will lead the committee which is tasked with confirming the existence, condition, location and ownership of all state assets. Afolabi said the committee is on a fact-finding mission to unravel the state of affairs as inherited by the present administration. I want to assure you that our duty is to present to you an accurate, transparent and of course error-free document that you see and, and work on as the state of affair as at 12th of November 2024. It's not just about dictating fraud. It equally, of course, ensures compliance regulation and financial and, 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 and appropriate financial reporting. A member of the committee, Kasim Afegwa, used the opportunity to dismiss allegation by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, on the alleged invasion of the state PDP secretariat, shutdown of e-governance platform, among others. They said the government of APC, that is barely 14 days old, has shut down the e-governance platform. That is very laughable, very incorrect, the report of the committee is expected to be made public at the end of the exercise. Uhioze Inarume, AIT News, Benin.